Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to review the data analyst SQL server track from Datacom. So in this video I'm going to tell you what are the courses that are covered in this track and if you want to become a data analyst with a good background in SQL if this path or track is suitable for you or not. Let's start this video. All right, so basically this track should teach me data analyst with some SQL server skills. So, which means after I take this track, I should be able to be analyze some data and use SQL server skills. Now let's find out what are the things that I should, I mean, what are the things or, and skills that should be covered in this track? As per of coding skills, I think, since I'm gonna be analyzing some data, so a Python or R should be covered, and intermediate to Python or R should be covered. If there was an advanced, that would be a, a plus, uh, a, a, I mean, like it's, it's gonna be much better, but this will do fine. And obviously, since it's an SQL server, then it should be a course called Introduction to SQL, or Intermediate to SQL. Regarding to the math skills, since I'm going to be analyzing some data, some statistics courses should be covered in Python or in R, and probability courses should be covered in Python or R. As a matter of data analysis skills, uh, obviously some analyzing data using Python or R, you know, like something like dealing with missing data, how to add them in data frame, these type of things. And uh, packages like pandas in Python, and deployer and tidyverse this type of packages should be covered in these courses so basically these are courses which are going to be uh, teaching me how to analyze data using python or r obviously since i'm going to be analyzing some data i'm going to have to draw some charts and, and in order to do that i'm going to have to make some dashboards and reports and basic and advanced charts using let's say matplotlib and seaborn and bouquet from python and ggplot2 from r so these are the things that i think should be covered and since i'll be dealing with some databases just like i mentioned before introduction intermediate to sql should be covered how i can write some queries in sql and get the data how i can scrub the data from web how i can make reports using sql how i can deal with rdbms uh, databases you know sometimes sql and no sql not only sql uh, databases like mongodb and how i can write some functions in sql servers and advanced da skills i think uh, how to conduct uh, an eda in details which is exploratory data analysis in python or r how to deal with missing data how to uh, play with data frames these are the things that i think should be covered in data analysis with sql server track now i'm going to be honest with you this track just like i'm going to tell you in the in the next uh, part of this video when we're going to go to the data cam and check by ourselves that if these things are covered or not i'm going to be telling you from now that these are most of the things aren't covered but if you want to become a data analyst i would prefer that you go to the data analyst in python or data analyst in r track and then after you finish those tracks you come to this track so this track is kind of like part two the part one is going to be data analyst in R or data analyst in Python. So let's just go now to the data camp website and see what are the courses which we can find in this track. And always, always make uh, put that in your mind that data camp, they always uh, update their tracks, add some courses, remove all courses, uh, add new chapters. So maybe this uh video i'm i'm, go I'm making right now is going to be awesome outdated or something like that uh, and always 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 make sure to uh check it by yourself on the website and make sure if you want to enroll to that account to choose the link in the description below there is a chance you can get a discount there so now let's go to the data camp website and see by ourselves which courses are covered in this track and which weren't 
aren't course aren't covered in this track so let's go to the data camp website all right so right now we are at the website of data camp you can go to the career tracks and then you choose uh, here you can go to the career tracks and then you go and scroll down all the way down till you find the data analyst with SQL server track now just like we discussed earlier in the video the, the slide section since I'm gonna be data analyst with SQL server skills that mean I should learn um, some courses about uh, data analysis which means uh, it's gonna be either R and R and Python and I'm gonna end up learning how to deal with data how to get the data uh, using statistics on the data, using EDAs, using some uh, data visualization packages like ggplot in R and matplotlib in Python. You know, the entire data analysis courses and, and, and skills. And then I should learn also uh, SQL, how to deal with SQL, how to create a SQL queries, uh, how to uh, deal with databases, um, yeah, type of uh, uh, SQL um, using SQL basically in, in, in Unix uh, servers and stuff like this so let's just go and see the track okay we have 45 hours in this uh, track and 11 courses in this course immediately start with this section so we have introduction to SQL server which is as I said the track should give you the basics at the beginning and then uh, gradually uh, gets advanced okay so we have introduction to sql server and then we have introduction to the uh, rdbms which is uh, relational databases in sql and then we have intermediate sql which they're going to teach you tsql transact sql which is uh, how to write the queries and you can use it in microsoft sql also and then uh, you're going to uh, learn how to deal with time series data using sql server and some man functions for manipulating the data here we are uh, using SQL Server, uh, SQ, uh, major or, or field, and how to manipulate data. So we are this. This is like a core of data analysis in SQL. They're teaching you how to uh, manage the data and using SQL. And then we have database design, which is a core SQL or database uh, course. And then we have hierarchical and recursive queries in SQL Server, which is I, in my opinion, is going to be this one a uh, little bit advanced. Uh, course and writing queries uh, because basically you're gonna end up using SQL queries in order to get the data from the database so you need to know how type of queries how to write them how to write them efficiently and so on and then we have transactions and error handling in SQL servers obviously when you're gonna end up dealing with uh, databases and writing queries you're gonna find some errors you might get the data uh, in the wrong way uh, something missing so you need to know how to deal with all type of errors and uh, writing the uh, queries and how to write functions and store procedures in SQL Server. I can see there's a lot of uh, things in SQL Server. How to build and optimize triggers in SQL Server, improving query performance, which is gonna uh, you're gonna end up reading and uh, the query in order for you get the data. So you need to uh, learn how to properly write it, and that's it. So in my opinion, this track is more of a scale server than its data analysis in order for you to learn it really well i would highly recommend that you go to the data analysis track whether it was in python or r which is here you can find it here uh, it's data analyst in python this one and there's data analyst in r you take let's just click on the bo both of them and, and check this one is with python and here you can go and take the entire course I'm gonna teach you a lot of things in the data analysis part and then you go to the data analysis with SQL server same thing here in R you go and take this track and, and take all the courses and after you finish this one then you go to that data analysis with SQL server track then you'll be able to cover both uh, fields which is data analysis and sql server so thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and share this video with uh, someone you think he can uh, get use of this uh, video and make sure to buy the subscription from uh, the link in the description below there is a big chance you're gonna get, get a discount so thank you so much see you in the next video bye bye